for you. Okay, well, I am really disappointed with the uh, Meridian uh, axles. I lost another wheel, and it wasn't because of the lock nut. Um, let me show you here. Very disappointing. See the lock nuts are still there. Anyway, so it's just not strong enough. It's too weak, and evidently, not just for me, a lot of them break. Anyway, so people know, you know, that can get you hurt if you're, uh, if you're out on the road and it throws you down on that port side into traffic. Anyway, so I'm looking at, I've got two of them. I should be able to make one of something. Um, got this one down here, see. It's just that it's just too wimpy in the back end. That axle's just not enough. It needs like a one inch axle. But to get those wheels onto a one inch axle ain't gonna work. So I'm um, considering other ideas, something like this. Um, I, uh, I can maybe put the two front ends together and then uh, on the mid drive, from their back, build the. I could even employ a gear cluster and have gears. Anyway, I needed to tell everybody absolutely that uh, don't do this. It's a fool's errand. These axles, even without everything on them, break. They're weak. And that's that. It's a. Uh, you're, you put a lot of miles on it, you're looking at disaster. And uh, so there you go. That's everybody needs to know. At least with the Shrin Meridian, it's a big risk. A big risk you shouldn't take and you shouldn't, you know, have your loved ones take it. It's a, uh, that's the shame of it, but that's the way it is. I didn't want to admit it, but that's the way it is. I have to admit to Pete. I, uh, well, not yet. I'm going to do something of my own. I'll make a one inch axle or something heavy duty. Just got to figure out how to, how to do it. But I need everybody to know that uh, this whole experiment has been interesting, but it's failed in that regard. It, it was successful in a lot of ways. I, I was able to run on the sun and I'll still be able to when I figure out the new, whatever I'm going to do. It's got to be something I can depend on though. Uh, this, Wheel falling off could have killed me. I was uh, just the day before I was, you know, on a, on a little bit of stretch of the highway there, and if it had thrown me into traffic, that'd be it. So, don't do this at home. Don't do it. Don't use the Swin Meridian for sure when you do do it, unless you do some heavy duty alterations. Anyway, so everybody knows. Thanks. Okay. So. Here's the deal. It's obviously going to have to be beefed up. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and try and explain what they've got going here on the Meridian anyway. Because they've got one drive wheel. See how this turn the pedal and this one turns, the other one doesn't. But the axle is turning inside of it. See? That's how they get their differential, basically, and so that it's so nimble and it can make such tight corners is because both wheels aren't uh, on a solid axle. And then, uh, so, anyway, the trick is going to be to beef it up. The brakes on the port side, usually, where it's necked down to go into the hub. So, Without those bearings in the hub, it would accept a much bigger shaft. I think upwards of a three-quarter shaft. And I think I can get bearings to fit in this housing, I'm hoping. Uh, well, I guess the thing to go is with a, a 15 millimeter, I think it is. Uh, 
anyway uh because it's you can get all the different stuff for that and it's a little that's a little bit heavier you know anyway i can get solid shafts but the big thing is the differential which i i've been looking at maybe making one or buying one there's a lot on it out there and uh here i tore apart my old broken tractor transmission and i got a big it's a one inch shaft um differential but it's way overbuilt for what i need to do it's about 10 times no not 10 times but it's a lot bigger than i need it's at least twice as big as what i need um well not twice i need a three quarter inch shaft so anyway that's what we're doing we're gonna figure that out and um probably that 15 millimeters is out to, out to invest in a axle and differential factory made i'd like to make one myself it sounds like a fun project but i really don't have time i got a lot to do anyway really is a bummer broken axles on these meridians that to get you killed you got to be careful um the differential and i think uh having a solid axle all the way out and really you know secured the wheels solid to it on both sides uh, and probably disc brakes on both sides with that uh might as well get the hubs with the disc brake holders and then go ahead and make mounts and make nice brakes for it anyway my goodness fun 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 but can't have these broken wheels that's a bad deal and i got to keep it nimble that's the whole point of the three-wheeler thing it's that's the nice thing about it you can't hardly beat it for tight quarters and moving around anyway we'll talk to you later okay well as fantastic as it seems <laughs> that thing might actually i mean it's way over too much but uh the shafts you think they're way too big but the bushings in the in the aluminum housing which is broken anyway see the, the bushings here measuring those they uh turns out they would fit in there into the housing here and then the shafts are just conveniently long enough to where the splines would be exposed just enough to take all that down and, and fit them inside of a, a gutted hub and thread the, a hole in the end and make a bolt to tighten it up in there tight. Maybe have another piece that fits in there to completely, you know, uh, fill up the hub nice and snug and tight and right. Anyway, this gear here is the only thing that's too way too big, so I'm looking at it. And what I need is another plate like this one, which there's nothing saying that this gear couldn't be this piece here. It would take some doing, but uh, the first thing I could do is just uh, cut it out and then go from there. All the holes are already there like they need to be. It's just a lot of material removal to make it like this on both sides which would get it down small enough that perhaps we can make it work somehow. I'm not sure how. Uh, any sprocket on that would be pretty gargantuan compared to what's on it now. <laughs> which, there you go, There's everything's just a big deal. There's the there's the sprocket that's on it, and this is obviously much bigger than uh, the sprocket is, so it would be geared a lot lower. <laughs> okay, well, there you go.